Hello everybody and welcome back to my life. I'm Serenity. If you're new here, we go over super easy vegan recipes as well as other holistic tips. So if that's something you're interested in, please subscribe. I'd love to have you be a part of our family. Make sure you hit that bell button so you're alerted for all of our multiple weekly videos. If you find this video helpful, give it a like, give it a share, and welcome to our very first Wonderful Wednesday. Let me super, 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 super briefly explain to you how Wonderful Wednesday came about, what Wonderful Wednesday is, and what it represents to me. So, for years and years and years, I kid you not, I have been to hell and back, I've pulled my hair out, I have gone crazy looking for products that are healthier versions of what is mainly out there, that represents organic ingredients, minimal ingredients, no extra filler and chemical junk. I am constantly, constantly searching for these things. It's so, so important to me that my money goes to a company that cares, to companies that care about my health, that care about the health of the planet, the environment, doing good things for one another. That's where I want my money to go. So that is what I'm constantly searching for. And I had mentioned to my fiance, I was said, it would be so wonderful if there was a platform that reviewed these products. I would try them all. And I was like, that would be wonderful. And he was like, that would be wonderful. And we were like, hmm, Wonderful Wednesdays was born. So since I'm already literally, constantly, daily, looking and finding and trying new products, I decided to bring you along. <laughs> We're gonna do this together. I absolutely only am interested in products that I feel I would eat and I would have in my life, which I have kind of high standards, which is fine, which is great, right? You know, why do we have to lower our standards? We don't. And to me, the way that they represent their company and the ingredients they use, hands down show whether or not they care about the people buying their product. No questions asked. I could look at every single product in a grocery store. I every single one on the shelf and I could tell you whether or not they actually give a crap about who's buying their product. So no, these videos are not sponsored. This is literally a product that I bought off the shelf with my own money. I work hard for my money. This is literally me going to the grocery store or going to any other store or online shopping and trying products like I would normally, but I'm bringing you along on the journey because I feel like it's really, really important to learn from one another and share with one another. So let's get right to it, shall we? Here's our product for today. I was at Sprouts and I saw this bad boy on the top shelf and it caught my eye. It first caught my eye because it's organic. I am like a human scanner, like, like looking for organic products all the time. Does organic mean healthy and grab it and buy it? No, that is not what it always means. It means, what's that? It should intrigue you, turn around, look at the ingredients, make decisions based upon the ingredients. Because it's in liquid, I kind of expected to have a lot of weird extra like chemical ingredients. A lot of things in liquid do. Um, I was super surprised to see that it did not. One, two, three, four. There are four ingredients in this pasta. This is not normally something I would have went for. I don't like to buy things like in liquid. Um, but water, <clears throat> organic con conjure, conjure, conjure flour, I think that's how you pronounce it. Let's check. The pronunciation of this word is sounds like conjac. Conjac. <laughs> conjac. Okay, you guys? Conjac. I am familiar a little bit with it. I never knew exactly how um, to pronounce it. And I know that it's used um, as a replacement for gelatins in some recipes to 
thicken things up. I've actually never used it before. And, and the other two ingredients are oat fiber. And oat fiber is just made by grounding up the whole, H-U-L-L, -L, which is the shell of the oat, kind of. It's, it's super basic. It's, and then citric acid. That is it. This is minimal ingredients. Of course, I'm not a big fan that it's in plastic. It reminds me of, um, remember when you were kids and you put things like in a box and they'd cover the box and you'd have to like put your hand in and try to guess what it was and it, bleh, it was like nasty, gooey, wet spaghetti or something. That's the first thing I thought of when I saw this. The fact that it's soaking in water, I don't know, I'm scared because I don't want it to be like super soggy. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to do um, some traditional spaghetti-ish dish, and then I'm going to do like a little stir fry. So we're going to try it out. It should be super fast to deal with. Um, it just says, you know, to rinse and drain, squeeze out water, serve with your favorite sauce or vegetable. So eat it cold or hot. So basically it sounds like they're cooked, which is cool. I'm just going to add a boatload of flavor to it. Let's open it and see what. I don't want it to spill everywhere. Ugh. Okay, it's open. It's open, everybody. Oh my gosh. I'm like, it kind of smells funky, actually, but they're in two different little packages. Uh, look at that. It's perfect because I was gonna split half and half. I don't like the fact that it's more plastic, but it smells, it's just, it's just the plastic, but it smells a little weird. Okay, so now I'm probably gonna get wet. Let's see. Ugh, I don't know, I don't know. It does not smell good. Like, what? Okay, it hasn't expired, you guys. We have over a year. <laughs> There's a funk, funk a smell to this. Okay, well, I know the ingredients, so let's see. Maybe I'm just not familiar with this smell of that kanja flower. Because like I said, I've never used it before. Hmm. They're like a little like rubbery-ish, like not super, super crazy rubber, but they have like a little rubber feel to them. We might become friends, I don't know. Oh, I was supposed to rinse them off before I ate him. <laughs> this is um, a journey. Let's go cook this. Okay, so I'm just going to rinse these off just like the package said. Okay, I'm excited. I'm gonna go ahead and cook these both at the same time. I'll just have two different pans here. I'll put my stir fry in one and then just my traditional spaghetti in the other. I'm gonna start by putting a little coconut oil in each pan. You don't have to do this if you're oilless, total option. Once it melts, I'm going to go ahead and add some onions. I'm going to saute some onions up in both pans. When you're trying to get a lot of flavor in something, it's really good to saute some onions and then add some garlic like I'm going to do here. Just chopped up this garlic and I'm going to put it in both pans here. Let that saute together for a few more minutes until it's nice and like toasted golden brown. And I'm gonna just use a store-bought spaghetti sauce. And oh, it is splattering everywhere because my pan was super hot. But today we're just gonna do the fast versions. So we're gonna go ahead and mix this up here. And I'm just gonna use my favorite, one of my favorite teriyaki sauces as well. So again, I put all the details of the entire video in the description below. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in here mix this up it's smelling good like this video if you're enjoying it so far we're gonna add some more seasoning onion powder to both 
Gotta get this seasoning in here. I'm gonna do salt. I'm not gonna put salt in the stir fry. Stir this up a little bit. Get these flavors going. We're gonna do pepper in both. A little minced garlic and a little minced onion as well. And this is another minced garlic mix that I really like. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in both of them. Give this a good mix, you guys. We are almost there. I chopped up some mushrooms I'm gonna put into my stir fry, as well as some broccoli and green beans. I'm just using whatever happened in the house, so you can use whatever you want as well. Go ahead and put some mushrooms in my red sauce as well. Give it a good stir. And I'm gonna add a little bit of green chili to my stir fry. It just gives a really nice boost of flavor in there. Bell pepper. Stir, stir, stir. I don't know you guys. These smell like weird. Kind of almost like a vitamin or something. I've never liked the smell of vitamins. Whoa, my camera just fell. Whoa, that was crazy. Anyways, they smell weird. I went ahead and let these cook for a little bit together, let the flavors really marinate, and let those vegetables get a little softer and cook. So go ahead and get this rolling. Which one do you think is gonna be better, you guys? I'm so interested and excited. Comment below, what do you think? I'm gonna also put my homemade vegan Parmesan on the top of this because it needs a lots of flavor. I have not tasted this yet. I promise. I waited for you guys. We're gonna go ahead and start with the spaghetti. See what it has to say. See what it's all about. The taste is there, but well, that's probably because of the onions and the garlic <laughs> that I cooked it with. The texture is really weird to have with the red spaghetti sauce. It's very, I want to call it rubbery, gelatin-esque, if you will. Like, like, look how much stretch it has to it. Can you guys see that? Boing, boing, boing. Can you guys see this? You guys see how much that's stretching? That's crazy. It kind of, I don't like that. I don't like that. No. Okay. I wouldn't put it in red sauce. Okay. Stir fry. Let's check you out, bad boy. a lot better. <clears throat> Ooh. The green chili was talking to my throat. What's up? It's a lot better in the stir fry than the red sauce. Have you ever been in a kitchen where someone's cooking like broccoli or cabbage or something that the first second you smell it you're like oh god like what's going on and then it's just like I'm cooking I'm steaming broccoli and or I'm cooking cabbage, you know. Oh, okay. The second you know what it is, you're more okay with it. Here's where I'm going with this. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. If I knew why this had that weird smell to it, I feel like I'd be way more okay with it. So, I wanted to take one more bite before I give you my final opinion on this well 
as you know, the noodles are very stretchy and very gelatin-ish. Um, I'm guessing it's that flour. Obviously, it, it gets used as um, gelatin replacements. I don't know, you guys. I don't even know. Let me see. problems because it's one of those things that was kind of so gelatiny that slides right down your throat and you almost like can't chew it properly. I try to chew my food a lot to help my digestive system. So the fact that I'm just like swallowing like big like like forkfuls of food, I don't like that. And um I know you're probably like, well, just chew it more. It, it's not that easy, you guys. It's a weird texture, like I'm trying to chew it. The pieces are sliding this way and sliding that way, and then they all just run down. <laughs> I'm serious. I know how to chew. I've been doing it for a long time. I truly believe both these bowls of food taste good because of how I cooked it. So it's definitely not the noodle that's making it taste good. It's the way that I cooked it. So if you plan on buying these noodles and throwing them in a pan with just like some sauce and that's it, I, I, I think you're gonna have a bad day. Okay, the verdict is in, you guys. I wouldn't buy this product again. I definitely don't hate it, but I don't love it. And I need to love my food. It's so important to me. It makes me feel like so connected. If you buy these noodles and try them out, comment below. Let me know. I'm so curious to hear your thoughts. And tell me what you did with them. I'd love to know what you did with them. Well, we did it. We did our first wonderful Wednesday. And I think it was wonderful. I feel so happy uh, that you guys are coming on the journey with me of trying new products. Like, I'm so excited. Um, because I'm only gonna represent products that I feel are worth trying like I promise you that if you knew how Intense and strict I am with things you would What would you do? I don't know believe me the question of the day Question of the day is Would you please tell me a story below? of a time that you tried a new ingredient and it went bad. It was like an awful experience. <laughs> Happens to all of us, it makes us stronger, it makes us better. Comment below, let me know your story. I'm so excited to hear it. Let me know if you guys liked Wonderful Wednesday because I'm so excited for it. And um, we're gonna get together every Wednesday. We're gonna do this and we're gonna talk about products and have fun and eat and laugh and try things and love things and hate things and ask questions. and. If you haven't subscribed already, I'd love to have you be a part of our beautiful community on here. Hit that subscribe button right now. Make sure you hit the bell button so you're alerted for all of our multiple weekly videos. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and share it. Let's share these wonderful Wednesdays so more people can have reviews on products that they may have not tried or may have not even ever seen. So thank you so much, you guys. Absolutely appreciate you being here and we'll see you guys soon.